and I'm like, I've been fueling here for five months. You know what the guy told me? Why don't you use cash? I'm like, excuse me? What's popping, gang? Another day, another load, right? So let me show you what I'm dealing with today. You see what I'm dealing with today? There's no space for me to put my rollers and my crates in, so I gotta organize the best way that I can. Or I could just go to one of the doors and I could have them do it themselves, but who knows how long that's gonna take, right? So I'm gonna just take y'all on a little journey of what I do when it's typically flooded like this, you know? The rollers typically go over here and the crates go here and, you know. So basically, when that happens, you just gotta try to organize the box as best as you can and um, try to put your rollers in there. You could also put your crates inside your truck to make it um, less compact, but um, I'm just trying to get everything in there so I could get out of here, so. Who wants to do this, you know? I'm gonna tell you, this is my last job, or trucking job, um, unloading. Can't do this your whole life. Ridiculous, right? Make sure you lift with your knees, not your back. So by the time you're like 40, 50, you ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Close. 
There you go. For the crates. What I normally do, I put it right across here. I'm just gonna put a few in here and then put the rest in my truck because I don't want to over flood this. That's how that's done. I mean, make sure the door closes. That's how that's done. So we back on the road, um, out of fuel, kind of. So I'm about to head to um, fuel stop, get some fuel. And then I'm gonna head to my destination for the night. I'm gonna see you all there. crazy guys. I've been here for over 25 minutes because it said that I can't purchase fuel. It said that uh, I exceeded my limit and I haven't even fueled in a week. So I've been here 25 minutes trying to figure this out and I was on the phone with um, fuel and it was trying to fix it. It's 25 minutes, 25 minutes after and now they fixed it. This shit working. It's working. Yeah. How the hell did I exceed my limit when I haven't fueled in a week? I just don't understand that. I really don't. But um, yeah, so we figured it out after 25 minutes. So whenever you get into an issue with uh, fueling, in the back of your card, your ID card, you have um, contacts that you can contact your fleet manager, Omaha, uh, driver relations, or your fuel and, uh, you know, whatever, logs, whatever. So I contacted fuel and I was like, my uh, fuel card is saying I exceeded the limit. And I'm like, I've been fueling here for five months. You know what the guy told me? Why don't you use cash? I'm like, excuse me? He's like, why don't you use cash? I don't know when, where's the next fuel. I'm like, what are you working at Warner for? Like, what are you working in the fuel department for if you don't know where's the next fuel stop and you can't help me? That doesn't make any sense. Does that make any sense to you? Use cash. What employer recommends you to use cash to fuel day truck? $400? I'm not a, come on now. Like, why would I work today if I'm gonna fuel a truck for $400? That doesn't make any sense. But I hung up on his ass. Click, call the next person. And uh, I called somebody else and she helped me out. My car was deactivated, so they had to reactivate that and uh, put in the, um, the fuel stop service number, whatever. And I got to fuel. Can you believe home told me use cash? And you know what's funny? I told him, why don't you wire the cash to me and I'm gonna put it in the truck. He like, I wish. Then don't ever come out your mouth and tell me use cash. My cash to fuel a truck when I got a fuel card. That don't make no sense. No sense. I'm here for the night. I'm about to rest up, get something to eat and go to bed for tomorrow morning. Whenever I get to a store, if it's a store I've never been to, I normally park the truck somewhere and walk behind the store to make sure that I'm going the right way. Because sometimes, man, you go behind the store and get stuck and you won't have anybody to help you out. But that's what I'm doing. I'm always walking behind the store to see how do I back in. Cause Dollar Tree, man. You never know. They be anywhere. They be parked anywhere. So I found the dock. It's 
right there. I got a forklift in my way. And let's see if we can do this, man. It's not that bad, though. The forklift is not... Oh, shit. Something happened here. The forklift is holding the, the Walmart trailer up. Not too bad. I didn't do too bad. I could have done better, but you know, no one's perfect, right? So, it's all right. So that's my last stop. Uh, not much people, but it looks like I'm gonna be here for the next four or five hours. The crazy thing is I had 3,000 in my first stop and I did four hours. This one has 1,200 cases. It's going to take me four hours. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Not too bad. It's Walmart. 